Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show how I did this simple set of Halloween nails with a 3D spider. So I'm going to use CJP Black Magic, this hollow black glitter. This one is Witch's Brew from Smiley's. Um, also a fine silver glitter. So I'm just going to go in and do a thin base coat of black magic so when you're using black uh, try not to get this on the skin because it is a bugger to get off so i'm just doing like i say a thin coat of that and then while that is still wet i go in with the yellow black glitter and just tap that into the wet acrylic So with this set, I didn't want in your face sparkles, so I did it black so that it it's a subtle sparkle on it. So on this one, I'm just going to do, again, a black base. And I'm not going to do anything else on this nail just yet. So I'm just making sure that that full nail is covered. So again on this nail, just a full black one as this is which is going to have the spider on, I think. So I'm just keeping that cuticle as neat as I can. So again on this nail I'm going to do black magic and then go in with the black hollow into the wet acrylic again. So once I've done these, I do cap them all apart from the spider's web because I'm going to do that, encapsulate that. So I'm just going to show you how far I've got. So I am using this gel nail art paint i think it is in silver so i'm just going to do a, a simple spider's web on the end of this one so the reason i did it in gel is because i'm going to apply the glitter on top of this so yeah i'm not doing not fancy on this one just a simple spider's web And I'll admit I aren't the best drawer at all. So I've done the lines going down and then I just go in and do little, I don't know what shape I'd call this like use across like that so i just do this all the way down the nail
so once i'm happy with that i'm just going to get my silver glitter and just sprinkle that on tap it off and then cure and when it comes out of the lamp i just give that a brush down so there's no excess glitter on that and i'm going to cap this nail i have already capped at the other nails like i said but i just thought i'd leave this this capping in So I'm just trying to get that as neat as possible and in a shape that I'm happy with. So I'm just going to add a bit more to that apex as it won't eye enough. So I did go ahead and file all these. So I'm just going in now to do my 3D spider. So I've just picked up a small bead of clear acrylic and dipped it into Witch's Brew, the glitter. So I'm just going to get the shape of the spider that I'm looking for. And then I'll start building up the eye so that it's coming up from the nail. really sorry about the colour I picked but I didn't really want anything to in your face with these being subtle but you can see what I'm trying to do here so I'm just putting its head in flatten that out a bit so it's a bit bigger So that's another bead of the glitter just to make it a bit taller now and try to get it as round as I can. So I'll just keep messing about with that till I'm happy with how it looks. So I'm now going in and just doing spider's legs. So I'm going to do two going down on each side. And then two going up. <laughs> 
and then two short legs and then I don't know what they're called I think it's it's fangs or antennas I don't know yeah, I'm sure they've got these though so if not I'm sorry so once I'm happy with that I'll cure that so once I've cured it I did want it a little bit higher, so I'm going to go in with some clear acrylic, clear acrylic now and just build its body up and its head. So when I do the bead for its head, I do add... <coughs> oh, my God. I do add two small red diamonds for its eyes. Just gently pushing them into the wet acrylic. So once I've done that, I am now top coating. So you can see that glitter, but it's not like in your face. So I'm just going to do this one and the pink it in shiny top coat. And the spider nail, I'm going to do matte and the spider shiny so that it stands out. So I'm just going to try and just get that spider and not the rest of the nail. Sorry about that. So once I've done that, I will cure these and then bring it back out and do the matte top coat and then cure again. So I'm just going to go in now and do round the nail without touching the spider. <clears throat> so again I cured that and I'm just going to wipe that sticky layer off the matte top coat so that it actually goes matte and as you can see the spider stands out a bit better with it being shiny on the back on the back on the matte background so this is the finished effect so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one, bye!